Hi everyone, I'm Chris. You're watching Fragmental. You're also watching Aaron Terence Hughes, who is yet again a guest on my channel. I, these are some of my favourite videos okay. when you come on because I, I just find them fun. Yeah, I just love listening to what you have to say. Yeah, about fragrances. Yeah, good. So today, Aaron is going to be smelling the fragrances that have been voted for by the public as the best men's fragrances of all time. Okay. That's a that's a big uh, statement, isn't it? So that is a big statement. He's going to smell them, he doesn't know what they are, and we're going to find out if Aaron thinks that they are worthy of being voted top five best men's fragrances of all time. Stay tuned. Aaron, are you familiar with the website Fragrantia? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, for, for bad reasons. And um, do you use it? Do you ever oh, do you ever smell something and think, oh, I'm just going to cross-reference that? Never. With a, no? Never. No. Or, or the uh, per, the German one, never. We, we never go on it. We never upload anything to it. Right. For, uh, for, for reasons, I just don't, don't go on it at all. No interest in it at all. Right, fair enough. Well, the people who do go on there uh, have voted for, they do these awards every year on Fragranska and they've voted for lots of different categories. One of them is best men's fragrances of all time. Uh, I was thinking about doing top 10, but maybe the video would have been a bit too long. So we're doing Great. top five Great. Of, uh, of them. So if we smell them one by one, and then let us know what you think, and then we'll chat about whether it's a good top five okay. list. All right, so first one. Okay. I like it, Iris. It's um, very nice. It's super radiant. So um, I would never trust the general public with particularly anything, to be honest. That's just how I feel. <laughs> okay. But. Yeah, super radiant, super clean, buttery. Yeah. Irisy fragrance. It has that uh, wall of fragrance. Very nice. Yeah, they're, they're very nice, I mean. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it, it's a it's a good I agree, it's a good one. Yeah. I enjoy this one. Um very, very different fragrance for the next one. Interestingly, I, I've got more into personally on if I do wear fragrance on my day off, which isn't very often of more Aquatic, ozonic, light and airy, fruity. There's a molecule in here called under Cavanaugh, which smells of linen blossom or kiwi. You can work with it in different ways. It's very nice. So this I like because it's it's sort of clean and it's mm. got that sort of blue green thing. Again, it's got like a wall of fragrance. All good fragrances have this wall of fragrance. Nice. Yeah, I think this one is uh, pretty much the quintessential modern masculine sort of smell. Fresh, got a freshness to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, aquatic. Diagenomus and all um, sort of the acetates, lin very linen or base, very clean. Mm -hmm. You can smell the under Cavanaugh, really, really apparent. Yeah. Fruit molecules, and then it's got that Cologne. Cologne, I've been working loads yes, of. Yes, the sea, the sea, so, uh, sea. air type smell. Yeah. So because I'm in Mexico a lot, I kind of I love stuff like this, and um, I've got a few fragrances like this. Uh, in my range now because I just love this. The first one's nice. I think it's um, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, but kind of it's just so heavy and clawing and just oh, a bit you, low. Yeah, you'd be limited to more when you could wear it. Whereas this one's very versatile. All the time, yeah. At all occasions, very nice, very professional. And by the way, if you recognise any of these, do feel free to to say if you think you know uh, what what they are. That's absolutely fine. But this particular one, I like that one. Yeah, when I first smelled this. Didn't quite get the hype because I was into sort of sweeter, okay. heavier Orientals. But the more I wore it, the more I thought, yeah, I'm into this. It's, this is a really wearable okay. fragrance. That one smells like super corporate perfumery. So that smells like, you know, probably uh, somebody really knows the stuff working to breathe. The first one's got that um, Dior thing. Dior do work in a way that's very heavy, very intense, and very, very long lasting. So I love the perfumery. It's like this is not all of the stuff, but some of the stuff I think is exceptional. Mm. Exceptional perfumery. Yeah. I really, really admire him. You can tell he really knows his craft. Dior. Dior, yes. yeah, the, the yeah. old perfumer. But the new yeah. one, Francis Kurdishan, I'm very interested to see the direction he's going to take Dior. It's a new perfumer. So I'm very, very interested because yeah. the old perfumer, I can't remember his name. Francois Damachy. There you go. I think yeah. he's, uh, he's uh, I think his work is outstanding. Excellent. I do. I think I'll, there's so many masterpieces yes, in, in the house of uh, Dior. And uh, yeah, well, I think we can say you, you yeah. have guessed that one, yeah. right? It is a Dior fragrance. Or smell a, Dior's got a thing, it's got a thing to yeah, it. Yeah, there's a DNA and there's a yeah. smooth, there's a quality to yeah, Dior. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite yeah. designer houses. I agree. Uh, for sure. Okay, on to the next one. Not my favorite at all, don't know what this is. I knew this wouldn't be uh, up your street. 
Yeah, not for me at all. It's quite um, green, mm -hmm. pointed, a little bit abrasive, a little bit harsh. Okay, I all don't, right. Yeah, I'm not into that sort of stuff. Right, so this probably wouldn't be in your top five best men's fragrances of all time. Can you see why some people have maybe put yes, this one in Yes, because there? it's so woody, so amber woody. It smells very classic, very timeless, but it is very abrasive. I would love mm. this smooth, like rounded. Very wearable, isn't it? It's a very wearable uh, yes, type light, of fragrance. Very yeah. light, very airy, not very musk heavy, yeah. uh, very linear, and it just doesn't really do much, but it has a very, you know, just uh, again, that sort of scent profile. Mm -hmm. Not from, I wouldn't like that at all. No, okay, okay. next one. See, I like the fruity notes in this one. Fruity, masculine, clean, sweet, and broxin. Yeah, I can, I mean, it's obvious that, you know, um, men like that uh, sweet, clean, backed up against ambroxin, sort of heavy with some citruses on it. That's mm -hmm. quite a classic way to build yeah. a man's fragrance. Nice. Can you identify the house, mm, maybe? Is there a style? Just curious to, to wonder if there's a certain style to this house that you might pick up on. It smells French because the French way the French built stuff. And then finally, this was voted the number one best oh, okay. men's fragrance of all time. No pressure. Really? It's not Iris one. Heavy butter, it smells really similar to that one. Mm -hmm. These are all French. I know that. This smells like a Dior. And this one, I would imagine that it's like a, I don't know, I'm gonna stick to a French house. I'm not gonna go any further yeah. than that, a French Great. house. But they, I understand why. Mass appealing, Mass versatile, appealing, French, sweet, easy to wear. Backed against some Brooks yeah. sweet. Crowd pleasing. A good top five, do you think? I think you seem to be pretty positive about most of those, maybe apart from Of the all time. Level. Of all time, yeah. This is the, we can I mean, discuss this. But what, what about sort of more? Uh, what about sort of more older classical classics yeah. for older men? I think this is twenty-year-olds, twenty to thirty, maybe younger, who are really good on the computers, do you know, doing stuff. Who love going and doing all this stuff. Men who are in their forties and fifties who are corporate men, maybe even older than that. They ain't got time to be going into. Ain't got time to vote on for grants no, again. Yeah, not at no, all, so. actually, good point. I That's think, what I think. Yeah, I think there's a certain demographic that would be more inclined to cast their vote, and that is representative of these fragrances. Let's reveal okay. what they are. The first one, which you correctly identified as Dior was, Dior Homme Parfum. Okay. Nice. Great fragrance, yeah. uh, quite a heavy fragrance. Yeah. Iris, yes. you've got that, uh, some leather in there. Really, really good, strong designer fragrance. Not got the versatility factor that Not some of the others have, but it's a very good for, for what it does and when you would wear it. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I think this is worthy yeah. of, of a top five space. Do I you, agree. Do you I agree? I, yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah. The next one that you were pretty positive about, that you're getting more into living yeah. in Mexico, is Aqua de Joe Profumo. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and you got it. It was a, a, a an aquatic type fragrance. It's got that cologne. cologne. That's how you pronounce it. A little bit of ambroxin, sweet yeah. uh, fruity molecules, melon. Very nice. I kind of a more with the heat you would wear that, and I think that's a great fragrance. Yeah, but the money that that has to be right. You don't get second goes with these companies. Good fragrance, yeah. worthy of top five no, again. Yeah, yeah. All right. This one you weren't quite as fond of. This is Ted Ms. I don't like Isu Super as the majority of the raw material and I don't like that sort of spiky quality, but mm. I think it's a really good fragrance. I know I know the uh, the radiance is really good. I know the how it wears is excellent, but it's just not for me at all. There is there is sort of a sharpness, a slight yeah, bitterness to it, like the like orange rind, maybe. Yeah, I'd round it a lot more. It smells like a um, bit cigarette -y, you know, sort of like bitterness. I'm yeah. not into that at all. I, I loved it round. I love things round okay. and softened. So a little less sharp and a bit, a bit yeah. rounder and, and that would That's be so more personal, isn't it? It's more your preference. Yeah, yeah it's, all, so it's all personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one, you said French. You were right because okay. it's Bloody Chanel mm. and this is the EDP. It was specifically the EDP that got voted in. It's which, very nice. I, yeah. Very, very nice. I think it's, I mean, it, it's, uh, does everything yeah. you want. Easy to wear, method. shower jelly, clean, doesn't offend. No, not at all. Decent. Nice amount of projection. Performance, not, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Great, all right, and finally, Dior Homme Intense okay. was voted for as the best men's fragrance of all time. Not just the best designer, but the best men's fragrance of all time, really? so this could include okay. anything niche. Aventus was in this list, but this year it had dropped down from being in the top five to being, I think, 
number seven, certainly oh. on the bottom half of the okay. table. So it slipped. Ventus has slipped. Uh, and Diorum Intense, uh, you. Uh, so I think Diorum Intense is a bit more wearable, wearable. than Diorum Parfum. It's not as quite as heavy. Some of the stuff in Dior is really amazing. The one which I would love to have seen, rather than two iris ones, is that tobacco colour one. Oh, tobacco colour, yeah. That's, yeah. that to me is like outstanding. One. That to me is like amazing. And I, maybe something a little bit different. I don't know, it just is all the same a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But there we go, that was the, the, the current top five. So I feel like, yeah, as we mentioned, these are perhaps voted for by a certain demographic because these are supposed to be the best of all time, yet they are all very modern, yeah. aren't they? Definitely leans modern, um, this list. There are certainly some classics that, uh, that haven't been included, but I guess it's what's in people's minds, it's what people are wearing, it's what people are, are currently enjoying. These were the ones that were chosen, and yeah, it's not a, not, a, not a bad list. I think you could buy any of these fragrances and yeah, you, you couldn't really absolutely. go wrong. You'd, no, you'd, absolutely. And Easy actually, yeah, with, with these you'd be covered for all different seasons, you know, quite a few different situations. So, yeah. yeah, decent top five, very modern top five, but I think so. These lists aren't definitive. You're going to no. take them with a pitch of salt. You're going to factor in who's who's voting. But I just thought it would be interesting to get your take mm. on on what people, yes. uh, what Fragrantica readers have Fantastic. thought was the best of all time. So there we go. Thanks for your <laughs> input on that. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also. Subscribe to Aaron's Thank channel. You, you will see a link to his channel on the end screen and in the description. So go and give him a sub. You probably have already, yes. I'm sure. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.